What is up, Alice, everybody? Today, we are back with another unboxing video, something that I do not normally do. So bear with me as I stumble through this, but I enjoy them. I have something exciting today, and that's why we're doing this. As you already know by the title of this video, I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I am so excited about this, and I'm not much of a phone guy besides enjoying the apps that come with it. So I don't really get too excited about new iPhone updates. Leo's gonna join me in this. But I am excited about this one because it is a large jump between my old phone and this phone. And I can't wait to get into this. I know a lot of people are excited about this new iPhone because of the camera updates. That seems to be one of the only things they really update nowadays. But this one has three, which is crazy. And as someone who enjoys photography, I am so excited about that. I know the wide angle lens which is catching everyone's attention. The lens is about 120 degrees angle, which I think is equivalent to about 14 millimeters if you know anything about lenses. And that's absurd. That is so cool to have on a camera. I'm seeing so many videos and pictures of what people are doing with it, and it's, it's changing the game, honestly. And as someone that has an expensive DSLR, who knows where we're gonna be in the next couple years? Are they gonna completely replace it? I don't know. Anyways, let's get into this. I have right here the matte green, or as they like to call it, midnight green iPhone 11 Pro Max. I went with the matte green. I'm gonna call it matte green. I know it might bother people, but I'm gonna call it matte green because that's what it looks like to me, or army green, kind of. Anyways, I have the iPhone 7 Plus, uh, and as you can see, I don't know if, you, if the camera's gonna pick it up. I'm beating the crap out of it. The screen is shattered. This phone is slowing down. So a new phone was way overdue. I'm probably boring you, so let's dive into this. Let's open this up. Let's see what comes with it. Okay, this is what I'm dealing with currently. Let's get this out of here and spring. Ooh. We've got the wrapping right here. There's something oddly satisfying about that. Ooh. I did not think I was gonna get this excited about seeing this color. It is way brighter than I thought actually. That was gonna be a little bit of a duller color, but that is pretty. Wow. be the standard iPhone box. I've actually never seen this charging port yet. This is not what I was expecting. I thought they were gonna go with the same design as they would normally do. I completely forgot they come with headphones. I was too busy looking at this. Lightning cable, standard. Is that it? I haven't opened an iPhone box in years, so bear with me. You got your manual. Don't need that. Boom, let's turn this phone on. Let's turn this on. Something I'm gonna have to get used to. I've been dealing with the home button for so long. Oh, get this out. Now I am gonna have, ba have to back up everything on that. But I just wanna get in here, show you what we're dealing with, and then I'm gonna set up my phone later. Ooh, I gotta do this. I've never done this before. Set that up later. Later. I got some of my old apps downloading right now. But let's go to what's important. Let's get into this camera. Okay, let's dive into the camera because that's what we're really here for, right? So right off the bat, you have your classic photo, video, slow-mo, time-lapse. Nothing seems to be different on that. Portrait, pan out. The big difference is the zoom in and zoom out. As you can see, the setup right now is 0.5, one times, and two. So this is the standard view, and then here is the wide angle view. That is crazy. Standard, wide view. That is so crazy to me. Standard, and then here is your telescopic. Now it's funny, oh, don't mind Leo. It's funny because they give you the one times and then the two times. But if you hold it, you can go all the way to 
10 times. And then slide your finger and zoom out all the way to 0.5. 13 millimeters. Ah, see, I was, I was pretty close. I said 14 millimeters. It's so cool that you can do that. And here is sideways. Again. You can hold. Now, a cool thing with selfie mode is you have your standard and then you have zoom out. Let's do some low light test. Okay, this room is fairly dark as you can see. And right away, it brightens it up. Now if you focus on something and then do the slide up button, I mean, come on. That is crazy. Now, as you can tell, I'm really excited about this phone. Uh, I'm gonna continue playing with this. If you have any questions about this phone and what it's like owning it, feel free to contact me. Comment below, I will get back to you and I'm gonna go play around. I will give an update of how it is with this new camera and the new phone, but in the meantime, I'm gonna have some fun. I'm on my knees. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'm not good at these, so thank you for bearing with me and I will see you next time.